Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo. Today we're exploring Final Fantasy VII. We're here at the weapon shop place, and I actually changed my mind. I decided to buy an iron bangle for our barracks because I figured uh, even when we get our next character in our party and replace him, or maybe replace Teeth, I don't actually remember which. I don't know which one I'll replace first, but uh, when, whenever we replace either of them, since I have three iron bangles, I'll just switch the the iron mangle over to the new person, and it won't really matter. I won't have lost money, unless I find better items before getting to the, new, to the next character, which might be possible. I don't know. I don't remember because it's been too long since I played this game. Also, um, this game is super loud, I've realized, unfortunately, after already doing three episodes on it, so I messed with it a bit, and hopefully from now on it should not be so loud to put it simply, and hopefully not overpower my voice and stuff like that, and, you know, if you guys want to let me know in the comments how it is, then, uh, I would appreciate that. Also, I don't think i talked to this kid yet. What does he have to say? You dried up old geese? You tired? Why don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Nothing. Cheap ass. Alright. And what is that thing to the right? There's a person over there. Oh, hey! Heh <laughs> heh, forget about it. Oh, you. Get my friend on the second floor to teach you. What are you doing? It looks like he's just shaking back and forth. And I guess the little kid is, uh... Are they supposed to be shooting guns? I don't know, but look at that big thing. That thing that looks like a giant helmet to the right. That thing is so cool looking, and I don't even know... It doesn't even appear anywhere else in the game, does it? I highly doubt it. Alright. No, 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 I didn't want to... No, shut up. Stop. Stop. I didn't mean to talk to you. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's see what the guy in the weapon shop wants. Yeah, this is the guy in the weapon shop they're talking about, I believe. Not the guy who sells stuff. This is the beginner's hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Don't mess with me, I used to be a soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. What do you want to know? Yeah, they're doing it again. Uh, with the whole thing, I, I talked about it in the last episode, or maybe the second episode, I don't remember. Yeah, it was the last episode when he talked about Materia, where they actually have the main character who's supposed to be really knowledgeable uh, explaining things to the other uh, characters of the game. And that's uh, that's how they do the tutorials. But anyway, um, we already know how to save. Uh, pretty sure I know how to heal, but we'll just go over it real quick anyway. Tutorial, you probably already know this, but HP is your life force, HP is lost battle, you're out of commission, MP is the source of magic power. And it's skipped again. So, what should we do to cure a damaged ally? There are three ways. First, you can rest in an inn in a nearby town. Second, you can use items to help them recover. Third, you can use curative magic. I'll explain about magic later. But here, we'll talk about items. And it fucking it keeps doing the double skip thing. Potion restores HP. Yep. If you can't find what potion is, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we don't need any of this, actually. Can we skip it? Uh, well, I'm gonna try and mash through. We already know how to do this. Prioritize items you can throw in battle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is just how to arrange the menu. The item menu. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you. That's good. I I've got it now. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Yep, awesome. Thanks. Fantastic. Real it's oh man, all the information I can need. Okay. Yes, I know what the items do. Oh my god, you won't be able to use it on them or whatever. Yep, okay. Great. <laughs> Jesus. Just pick a member and use it. Yep. Remember appearing next to the item name is the quantity. Yep. Okay. Got it. Enough. 
Holy crap, I'm trying to mash through. This is so stupid. I hate... It's always, like, older games that do this. And generally, I tend to like older games a bit better for a few reasons. But one thing that really annoys me about them is you can't just, like, skip tutorials by mashing the button. Curative magic, weapons and armor, how to apply materia, effective ways to use materia, how to form your battle party, how to check your status, about limit status, other things to watch for. Um... I already know how to do all that, I think. Form the battle party, that's, yeah, I, I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I know basically about it. Other things to watch out for, what's that? You probably know all this, but just in case, I'll go over it. Until you get instructions, don't open or take discs out of the CD drive. After you open up the CD drive, I can't guarantee you what'll happen. That's all. Oh, <laughs> it's not exactly... It's, uh, not really applicable here. Okay, cool. What about you? Received all materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Received ether. Cool. I don't know what he gave us those for. Now listen, hidden in these treasure chests are a lot of items. There are box types and bag types. Make sure you don't overlook any. Great. Let's look at that all materia. I don't remember what it does. All. All effects on a paired on paired magic. What? All effects on paired magic? Oh! So, right, uh, if you have restore magic and you put it with an all thing, that lets you target every member of your party at once. So, it's, uh, it makes it an AoE heal. Okay. Assuming I remember correctly. Hey, you! This is the fabled save point. At a save point, you can use a tent and or select save. You can also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Even if you are wiped out, if you've saved, you can restart from that same point. That way you don't have to worry when you've been wiped out. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but when you leave Midgar and you get to the world map, you can save anywhere you like. Remember that. <laughs> I love that the game, like, breaks its own fourth wall. And it's like, hey, so when you leave Midgar, there will be new mechanics. That should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. I'm a treasure chest. Beginners, make sure and keep an eye out for You just showed us this. What the hell? Alright, anyway, we're actually going. Save point, yes, yes, yes. We're actually gonna save it real quick. Because of reasons. Oh, whoops, shit. Because of reasons that I need not explain to ye peons. Alright. How do we get up here? Oh, we just walk up here. Easy. Let's talk to them. Hey, soldier, tell us about battles. We'll even pay you. Pay me, you say? I'm not hard up enough to take money from guys like you, but I'll rap with you for a while. Rap? No, we're not gonna rap with them. What? What do you want to know? About ATB, about numbers on the screen, about change and defend, about escape, uh, about gauges, about status, about elementals, about help. About elementals, what's that? Elementals, a special effect that comes to certain weapons and magic, it's necessary to move ahead effectively. If you pay attention to the types of elementals you use will become immediate and yeah, oh okay. So it's just literally elemental type attacks. Fire effect works best on animals and water monsters. Ice effect works best on fire monsters and things that hate the cold. Lightning effect works best on mechanical things. Attacks using the Earth's power. Uh, Earth. Attacks using the Earth's power. Does it work on flying enemies? Poison's enemies. Doesn't work on any poison-based enemies. Gravity-based attack. These hurt if they hit. I think they all hurt if they hit. Cloud. Calls on the Earth's water. Works well on fire monsters. Calls up the winds. Works well on flying enemies. Calls up the planet's power. Works well on dark monsters. Great. Use reciprocal elements in your attacks. The effect is huge. Also, if you use the same elemental, your defenses are raised, but you have to be careful because the opposite is also true. To see what elementals an enemy has, you need sense materia. If you get that materia, you should try using it. Ooh, okay, great. Probably could have skipped that. About help, that's all the time I have for you. You get one really crappy lesson, that's it. Can we not get up to the other side? Do I have to walk up over here? Yeah, I have to walk over here, apparently. Hey, kids, what's up? Smack, knock, help. You gotta hang in there. Your limit gauge is just starting to build. Whoa. Ah. 
Okay, now you look like just full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. What the heck? These kids are literally beating the shit out of each other. Great! <laughs> Jeez. That's so weird. Okay. Whatever. Hey. Let's check out the third floor. This is the place where that kid tried to pass off as a cheap hotel, right? And cheap it is. This is a slums. So don't think you can stay for free. What are you going to do? Doesn't just seeing the bed make you sleepy? No, not at all, because it's messy and filled with crap. Tough guy, huh? You better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. That's the trick to being tough. Remember that, old dude. Shut up, kid. Is that a freaking thong on the bed or something? Or a purse? I can't tell. It's something weird. And that thing next to the bed looks like a weird fan or something. I don't know, man. All the stuff in this game is weird. I freaking love it. That, 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 and that, that, that weird brown box thing that looks sort of like a fan or whatever. Like that kind of weird, just like nonsensical machinery is all over this game. And it's, that, that's basically what makes the game's art style so great, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, enough about that. Let's go downstairs. The uh, local homegrown terrorists have to go and greet their, uh, oh, the signs anything? No. Nope. Go greet the crowd. All of our adoring fans. Hey! Whoa! Oh, they ran away. What are you people talking about? Yesterday, everyone in town was peeking at the two of you from outside the bar. He's his childhood friend, but that's a good one. I hope he doesn't get hurt. That worries me the most. Who's he? What he? Okay. And you, Johnny. I'm leaving. Going far away. But when I come back, I'll be a better man. This is goodbye. Hey, childhood friend, you better take good care of Tifa. And little kid. Ah, now I ain't got no one to pick on. You picked on that old guy? I mean, he wasn't old. He was probably in his, like, 20s or something. But you're like a 10-year-old and you picked on him? I highly doubt that. But uh, what this lady says is interesting. Yesterday, I remember town speaking to the two of you from outside the bar. Tifa's childhood friend. That's a good one. Yeah. It's kind of funny, I'm not sure if that's intentional, but that's, uh, some interesting little foreshadowing there. Spoiler warning for a game from 1997. Alright, what's this building? Don't suppose we can read the science? No, of course not. Alright, let's just check it out then, I suppose. Hey, you! Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, this, this store's going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this! This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. Alright, and you just got potions, Phoenix down, antidote, fire, ice materia, lightning materia, and restore materia. Okay. Well, I don't have a lot of money, but we could probably use some potions, I guess. Just like five more. We already have seven, so. Yeah. Might as well probably be using a lot of them for at some point. I mean, actually, we have the restore spell. Probably don't need potions all that much. But they'll come in handy, I guess. Don't be taken in by the Shinra. Mako energy will not last forever. Mako is the life of the planet, and that life is finite. The end is coming. Savers of the planet, avalanche. What crappy handwriting. And look at all this graffiti. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, it's a slum. Ha ha ha. Oh, the people moved. Jeez, you have new stuff to say since you moved? When it comes down to it, I'm gutless. I'm still just a no-good kid. Yep. Sure, as long as you admit it. Listen, if there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I Don't Care. I'll get a little more information that will pique even your interest. You wait and see. Okay. The, no, no, the guy. I'm trying to talk to the guy. Woman, please. Get up, get back. Ah, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. <laughs> you're, you're, you're only a lonely guy when you're not drinking? I find that hard to believe. Hey, you, old people, mind if I just walk around your house for a bit? He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? 
really, I guess. Ha, ha. I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Th you guys didn't even go out to see him? Also, why is the entire town making such a big fuss over this Johnny guy? They don't seem to care about the the avalanche group that's right in their house. Or not in their house, I mean their town. God damn it. Whatever, alright. We gotta go to Sector 5 now to blow up some more public property. Don't suppose these guys will let us pass? No, they will not. Okay. Hey. Oh, you're just gonna run away again. I see. Okay. Hey, you have anything to say? Morning, dawn comes, and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back again, here. Sure. Maybe. Do what I want. I'll get hurt if I want. Jeez. Not my dad. Okay, Barry. Yo! This ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? <laughs> that guy in the red suit. Wasn't he on the... Wasn't he on the train last night, too? You say something? I said, you say something? <laughs> now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. Like... Why are you threatening this random passenger, Barrett? What's going on? Damn. It's... It's empty because of g guys like you. <laughs> y yipes You. You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? That means we have to kill you. I won't give in to violence, blah blah blah. Tifa Barrett! Fuck, you lucky fuck or something, I don't know. You lucky... What would, what, what word would even make sense there? You lucky bastard? Yeah, probably that. Shit, you lucky bastard. Yeah, okay. Teeth has to pull him back from his rage. Cloud, so what are we gonna do now? Shit, the hell are you so calm? You best, you busting up my rhythm. Well, at least the train's going now. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. Yeah. Awesome. So what's our next target? The R-87 sacrifice reactor. Ha! Listen to Mr. Seri- To Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only three more minutes to get each checkpoint. Oh god, I'm getting heartburn. This makes it very hard to talk. <laughs> also, wait a minute, didn't they say... Didn't they say they were going to the Sector 5 reactor? Or is that the one we already blew up and I'm super confused? I don't know. Anyway, Barrett. Alright, three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Okay, sure. Hey, you, sleepy hobo person. Hmm? You're the only ones that'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. <laughs> he literally just refers to the train as his house? Okay. Sure, cool. Hey! Shinra manager. Oh, he's a manager. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Barrett probably would've killed him. Wah! Don't, don't worry about me. Man, oh man, oh man, I'm gonna brag to everyone at work about this. <laughs> it's not much to brag about, but okay. Kiva, hmm, it looks like you've seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. Oh no! That's odd, the ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Uh oh, they tricked you! Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. Search all cars to be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. Search all cars to be conducted. Default. What's happening? What's going on? 
We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. I think we literally all know what happened. They moved the ID checkpoint thing somehow so that it would scan for the thing because they predicted that the terrorists were probably riding the trains and would probably jump out before the ID checkpoint. You guys, it's not that hard to figure out. Shit, someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car number one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Oh no, what? Car one, locked down, upgrading to level two warning. Biggs, hurry, You're locking the door, sir. Unidentified for passengers located in car two, preparing for lockdown, just run. Change to plan two. Hey, whoa, whoa, let me move. It wouldn't let me move for some reason for a few seconds. Car number two locked down. Upgrading to warning level three. At, at warning level four, does the entire train just blow up and kill all the innocent people inside? That's what I've come to expect from this game. Barrett, all right. We clear? Not yet. They're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry. If we move up the train car by car, we should get past it. Okay, then let me go. Damn it. I've been passengers moving to the front of the train, currently checking the location. Great. Oi! Move out of the way, man! Why did somebody fall on the floor of the car? Lock down, I've granted maximum security alert! Okay, now's the point where the train just blows up, right? Exactly. Come on. Stop standing in the way, why are you all. Every single section of this train, Tifa and Barrett, walk into the new section, then stand there and stand completely stock still, blocking Cloud's way as the timer is ticking down. Oh no, it's a soldier person. Let's go, we're gonna drive out of here. What? Okay. So move it. Scary, huh? Too late for that now, why'd you come along anyway? Because... Hey, you two, there ain't no time for that. Hey, Cloud, she can punch things really hard. Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna punch all of the soldiers. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump. Alright. You don't care if I go first? The leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Yo! Don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Yep. Leave us another word. Trying to be a cool guy. And Barrett was never heard of again. Later, you take care of the rest. You? Who's you? What are you talking? What? What? Did he just talk to those complete strangers and tell them to take care of the rest? What does that even mean? Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Yeah, everything's going as planned, like the fact that the security checkpoint activated sooner than you expected it. That was that was all according to plan. Don't get your, don't let your guard down till we get to the sector five reactor. Okay, we are going to the sector five reactor. I'm, I'm not crazy. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it. Cool. Sure. Reactor's just down this tunnel. Yep. It is just down that tunnel, which means we're going to go this way. Because, if my memory serves correct, there's like a treasure chest or something back here. Oh, and random battles. With uh, bug monsters. Cool. Oh, and we can one-hit kill them. That's nice. That's absolutely lovely. Oh no, not Silk. Please don't slow my movement speed or something. I guess it would. I guess uh, in this game it would slow things, just uh, slow down the the rate at which the ATB gauge fills up. I'm not going the wrong way, am I? I don't think so. Huh. I thought we were supposed to go forward, but maybe we... God damn it. I, th I thought the, uh, the progression path was forward, and the treasure chest is back here. Uh-oh. Oh no. 
Okay, Bear does about the same damage. And she does less. Okay. Uh, you know, now might have been a good time for Tifa to have, like, brought a weapon. Instead of just punching these robots. Like, she's probably breaking her knuckles every time she attacks them. Oh well. But yeah, no, I, uh, I seriously hope I didn't choose the wrong direction, because I thought forward was progression, which means that the treasure chest would be back. But we've gone quite a distance, and I do not see a treasure chest. Oh shit. Nope, back was progression, forward was the treasure chest then. Awesome. Most exciting gameplay ever. Me running through a subway tunnel. Yes. The best ever. Also, I do, uh, I do have to point out the, uh, character models do seem actually to have been upgraded from the PlayStation version. I wasn't quite sure of, like, I, I, I didn't know, uh, oh, no, you know what, you defend. Let's save that, let the other two finish it off so we can save your limit for something else that's at, uh, full health. Yeah. But, uh, what was I just saying? Fuck. I don't remember. God damn it, no. Um, something about the thing. God damn it. I don't remember what I was just talking about. I was just talking about it and I got interrupted by her stupid limit break thing. Oh well, whatever. It was probably not important. Alright. Oh. That's right. Wait, what? What? I don't remember what her thing... Oh yeah, no, the differences between the PC version and the PlayStation version. Yeah, I don't, re I don't exactly recall what all the differences are. The only one that I know for certain is that the uh, resol resolution is obviously higher because the PlayStation version would have been in either 360 or 480p. Um, and this is in... Currently, I'm playing it in 768p, I suppose, would be the exact number. But uh, it does seem that the character models must have been updated. They look a lot better than I remember. And not just smoother from being uh, in a higher resolution. They seem to actually be... Uh, like, they have added detail. Especially on Barrett. It's most noticeable on Barrett. Or maybe it's my imagination. Maybe it's my imagination brought on by... Shady memories of a game that I played over two years ago. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Oh well. Let's finish these off. Please. And thank you. Also, Tifa's actually really low on health. Has everything just been attacking Tifa and I hadn't even noticed? I think it has. Because <laughs> she's like at less than half health. But we need to get that treasure chest. Which means, unfortunately, going through more random battles. Those light beams are the Shinra's security sensors. We can't go any further. God damn it. That's one damn tiny hole. You're telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Look inside, go down, don't go. Look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we won't be able to come back. Oh, wait a minute. What happened? Don't be wasting time. Never know when the Shinra will find us. Cloud, you just gotta go. No, not yet. What do you mean we're not going in? There ain't no other way of getting to the second five reactor except through here. Okay, so... God damn it. So I was right the first time. Forward is progression. But lucky me, I messed up. Alright, well let's use some cure magic. Oh, that... That's a... Uh, completely refilled her health. Wow. 
I thought the basic cure only did like a like a hundred or something. I don't know. I wonder if it actually tells you. I'll have to check in a bit. Yep, yep, you do your, your silky business. That's just great. Lovely. Fantastic. Okay. Yep, smack it. Wow! How did Cloud deal such low damage? What the frick? That's ridiculous. Absolutely redonkulous. Are you serious? guys are annoying. Like, I don't know why. For some reason, the, the damage done to these bug things is really random. Though you might do extra damage to enemies that aren't aware of you. That very first fight I got into against these bug things, um, it was an ambush. I thought the ambush only meant that uh, they wouldn't attack you right away. I suppose... Maybe it also gives you a bit of extra damage on attacks against enemies who haven't noticed you yet. Alright, I guess that makes sense. And three more of them to kill. Great. Okay, yep. Just keep... uh-huh. Great. Do super low damage, Tifa. Thanks for that. You're really adding to this team. Because you couldn't be bothered to bring a weapon. You insist on punching and kicking robots and bugs and stuff. As if that's going to do anything. Hey, they level up though, and I just uh, want to remind myself, no, they do not get healed from leveling up. Damn. Alright. It's going to be such a pain in the ass. If I get down there to that, uh... Oh no, they ambushed us! We have had the ambush! No! Egads! Um, but yeah, it's gonna be such a huge pain in the ass if we get down there to the bottom of the thing where the, uh, those two Shinra soldier dudes were at. And if it turns out that we can't go past them and can't do anything there. Because I'm going back there under the assumption that, uh... No, not that one, damn it. Whatever. This should finish them off. Or not. Thanks, Tifa. Thanks. The only member of this team who could hit the same enemy twice and somehow not kill it. Thank you, Barrett. Yeah, I, I, I take back what I said. I think Tifa's the first one getting replaced. Then again, I I remember... I think her limit breaks are supposed to be pretty good. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Shinra's security guards are there. We've got to turn back. Holy crap. All right. All right, fine. Just kill me now. Let's, uh, let's head all the way back, then. Okay, so we're back here. I guess I'll have to cut that out, then. That's one damn tiny hole, blah, 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 yup. Look inside, go down, don't go... Yeah, let's go down, sure. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Shut up, Barrett, please. <laughs> you're the one who's, like, talking all about, like, oh, we need to do this to save the planet, and then you're afraid of calling through a... a vent? Get off it, man. Oh! I guess we really do do extra damage if enemies aren't aware of us. I mean, that must be the case, because... We're... Killing these dudes in one hit. Again. Please, hit it really hard. Oh, yay, critical hit. Oh! And we're also getting lucky with critical hits, apparently. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining about that. If I had, like, a 100% crit chance, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty nifty, pretty useful. So I ain't gonna complain. But still. 
if they were more evenly spaced out or something, that'd be a little bit more convenient. Almost didn't see our character there. Camera angle did a funny way of uh, obscuring the vision. All right. Anything around here? Any items? Kind of doubt it. I suppose we'd see like a glow or something of the items, wouldn't we? Yeah. Oh well. Oh no, random battle! Oh, oh, what is it? Is it more bugs? No, it's robots and flying things. Oh wait, that was Tifa, shit. I didn't realize. I should have paid more attention. I wanted Tifa to hit the, the flying things because they probably have less defense than the robots that shoot. You know, uh, missiles at us. Alright. Yep, can you finish that off, Tifa? No, you can't. It's great. Fantastic. Wow, those things actually have, like, a ton of health. Holy crap. That's, like, kind of crazy. Those are just, like, they look like flying fish. How come they have so much health that they just can't be taken down? I don't know. Oh well, not up to me. Alright. Alright, where the hell do we go now? Hey, Biggs! What's up, man? You have a save point for us? Cloud, this way. The reactor's up this ladder. Oh, fantastic. Great. What's down here? Seems to be nothing. Okay. Sure. Sure, that's that's great. I love nothing. And what's up here? This isn't the ladder he was talking about, was it? I mean, it couldn't be. He was standing next to a ladder. It should be the other ladder that he's talking about. I imagine. Unless I'm completely wrong. I'm probably completely wrong. Because now we're in another random battle. With the... A friendly standing right next to us. Stop it with the silk. You're not Pokemon. Jesus. Rolling Claw. Oh boy. Thanks for contributing, Tifa. You tried. You get a bronze award. A plus for trying. A plus for failure, too. Just great. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Okay. Yep, you stretch. You deserved it, Tifa. You deserved that stretch. You earned it for all that hard work you did, putting in 13 damage per hit. Jesse, I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. That's okay, Jesse. Nobody can blame me for trying. Oh, it's, it's more random battles, and I don't know where a save point is. <laughs> That's actually a big deal here. Oh, no. Okay, rolling claw again. Well, at least you guys can kill stuff in more than two hit or less than two hits. Okay, yep, victory music, and there's actually a, there's actually like a, a few different paths here. Probably getting lost. Oh, this is probably going to take us down to, oh, oh, I see a save point. There you go, okay. Well, that means it's time to end this video, because after we pick this up, received tent. Oh, awesome, cool, we could probably even use the tent at this, uh, you know what, yeah. Let's use the tent. I'm going to do something I've never done before in a, uh, a Final Fantasy game. Or, well, I think I've done it once. Maybe. There you go. Completely restore the HP and the MP. There you go. I'm always, uh, I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but I'm one of those types of people who, when I have a really good item, something that, like, for example, a tent, is capable of completely restoring your entire party's HP and MP. 
I always end up saving it for an emergency, for a time when I really need it. And the end result is that I never end up using it, because I always just use, like, regular potions and my cure spells first, or I'll run all the way back to town to sleep at an inn and stuff like that. Like, I'll always use the more expendable, less rare options for restoring health and MP, and I'll always save, like, the really big stuff, stuff like a tent, you know, if for, like, some situation in which I really need it. And you know what? I'm gonna try and break out of that mold by, uh, doing what I just did there. And maybe I'll do it again in the future. Who knows? I don't. Maybe I'll forget all about my tepid goal, and, uh, it'll all have been a waste of time. But either way, thank you for watching this episode, and thank you for listening to my pointless ranting, or whatever. And I hope the audio wasn't too bad this time, and I will see you all later. That's all the time I have for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.